Hey YouTube, Copper Sand here. It's been almost two years since my previous Legion Link skill guide, and new classes have been released, so it's time for a quick refresher. Legion and Link skills are one of the core elements in MapleStory that help you build up your stats so you can grind faster and defeat those pesky bosses faster as well. For example, you can get up to 40% critical rate from Link skills alone and 50% additional critical rate from your Legion board, or 24% more critical damage from your Legion and Link skills combined, or additional boss damage, ignore defense to take these bosses down faster, and damage and EXP to grind faster. Legion and Link skills are extremely powerful and will help you progress through the game a lot faster. But before we're diving deeper into that, today's video is sponsored by Awesome. These sponsorships help keep the channel going, so your support is always greatly appreciated. Awesome is a remote software tool that I've personally been using for a while already. Using Awesome, you can connect your phone to your desktop and then remote control your desktop from your phone. I use it for my daily login in MapleStory when I'm not home or when I need to access a file on my PC that I forgot to transfer. As a kind of chaotic person, it's pretty nice to always have my desktop available, even when I'm at work. I'm using the game version of Awesome because with this version I can create a custom keyboard so I can, for example, play MapleStory on the go. Even the more button intense classes. You can edit them on the fly to suit your playstyle and in case you want to switch games, like to WoW or TFT, there even are some pre-made presets available for more popular games. Awesome has different plans available. The free plan covers remote desktop and files, the pro version contains Android device support and remote CMD and the game version that I'm using allows for way better controls while gaming and custom setups. They also have other useful tools like this smart plug that allows you to safely turn on and off your computer once you're done. There also are some hot sales going on, get 20% off for two devices and 40% for three or more devices. And if you're not convinced yet, there is a code appearing on the screen right now to get a 7 day free trial of Awesome Remote Gaming. This is only for the first 200 people, so act quickly. Head over to the Awesome website, click on rewards, sign in and that's it, you're done. You can then easily set up your own screen mirroring with your QR code. There is a link in the video description and top comment. Again, many thanks to Awesome for sponsoring today's video and now back to the topic itself. So the first thing any mapler should focus on, in my opinion, is their link skills, as those provide the biggest buffs the fastest, so you get the best buck for your time. And your legion will grow alongside it anyway. Link skills unlock for any character at level 70. The second level of your link skill unlocks at level 120 and some classes have a level 3 link skill that unlocks at level 210. No one knows why some have and some others don't, just GMS things I guess. Some link skills can also be stacked, these are all Explorer, Knight of Sickness and Resistance classes link skills. Each stackable link skill only goes to level 2 per character, so if you want to, for example, have a level 6 Explorer Thief link skill, you need to get 3 Explorer Thieves to level 120 at least. If I were to fill up my link skills first and you want to focus on grinding, I would first go for the Aaron link skill and get this one to level 2. This one increases the EXP of combo orbs, which is pretty powerful in the early game. After that, level up the Evan Link skill. His Link skill increases the duration of runes, which is basically a longer free double EXP buff. After that, go for Mercedes. Her Link skill increases flat EXP, which is also amazing. All three of these Link skills can go to level 3, which I highly recommend getting, but there is no rush, as I know this will take a while, especially if you're just starting out. The next Link skill that is generally good for most classes is Phantoms. Unless you're already rocking a 100% critical rate, the Phantom Link skill will give a huge boost in Power, since critical hits just deal that much more damage. Plus, once you have max or close to max critical rate, get the Kinesis Link skill. This one increases critical damage by 4%, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it really is a lot. The Phantom Link skill goes to level 3, and the Kinesis Link skill only goes to level 2. And if you are in need of even more critical rate, the Explorer Archer Link skills can stack up to an additional 10% critical rate, but you'll need to get 3 Explorer Archers to level 120 for that. The Beast Tamer Link skill also increases critical rate by 10% at level 3 and gives more bonus stats, so I would recommend going for that one first if Beast Tamer is available. Once you've done all of that, go for your flat damage increase Link skills. These are the Demon Avenger Link skill that can go up to level 3 for a massive 15% damage increase, and the Kana Link skill which gives a flat 10% damage increase at max level 2. Two other great link skills for mobbing are Nature's Friend, which is Lara her link skill. This link skill gives a damage buff and a normal monster damage buff every 30 seconds. Bravado from Ho Yong is also pretty interesting. This link skill increases your damage by 14% against monsters with full HP, which is great if you barely cannot one-shot monsters and both link skills go up to level 2. 
Once you have all of those, it's time to focus on your other damage buffs. Arc also has a great stacking buff that will last for 5 seconds, but if you keep attacking it, it will just stay stacked forever. This link skill goes up to level 3. After that, I recommend looking into the Cane Link skill and Ilium Link skill. Both increase damage after a while, and Ilium his Link skill increases your damage if you move around, which doesn't really work for some classes that stand still a lot. Both will go up to level 2. If your class has any form of a debuff, the Thief Cunning Link skill is also pretty good as well. These are the Explorer Thief Link skills, increasing your damage by 18% for 10 seconds with a 20 second cooldown when you debuff an enemy. Flat stat link skills like the Explorer Pirate Link skill are okay-ish early on, but it's so much work to get that one to max level for only a few stats that I wouldn't say it's worth your time. Same with the Xenon Link skill which only gives a 10% increase of stats, but early on that doesn't really matter that much for you. Keen Edge, Hayato's Link skill also gives flat stats and magic attack and weapon attack, which is not bad, but I would rather go for damage myself. When you're bossing, the same logic applies for your Link skill. First go for Critical Rate from Phantom, Explorer Archers and Beast Tamer if you want to. Beast Tamer's Link skill also increases boss damage and takes less time to get compared to the Archer one, so definitely go for that one if you haven't got it yet. Then you want to go for Ignore Defense. The more Ignore Defense or IED you have, the more damage you'll do to those boss monsters that have a very high defense. If this stat is too low, your damage will get reduced significantly. First, get the Luminous Link skill to level 2 or 3 if you want to get 20% more IED. The Hoyong Link skill increases IED by 10% as well. The Explorer Magician Link skill increases IED and damage by 9%. And this skill is a debuff, so you can use it if you don't have a debuff of your own to proc your Explorer Thief Link skill effect. This one works great in combination with each other. Zero's Link skill also increases Ignore Defense by 10%, but it's the weakest out of all the IED increasing Link skills. To get even more boss damage, get the Demon Slayer Link skill to level 3 for 20% more boss damage. Another insane must get bossing Link skill is Terms and Conditions from Angelic Buster. This skill increases your damage by 60% for 10 seconds. It can go up to level 3 and is massive for bursting down these bosses faster. It'll increase your damage by a ton. Besides that, you can go for damage link skills like when you're grinding. Except of course for the Lara link skill, because that one also increases normal monster damage, which is useless against boss monsters. The Kadena link skill also increases damage to debuffed monsters and monsters weaker than you, which can be pretty good for bossing. Some bosses can also be quite annoying with potion cooldowns, so you can also go for defensive healing link skills like the Explorer Warrior link skill and the Kali link skill. But those are kinda eh if you or your party has healing familiars. By the way, the Adele Link skill also gives boss damage and this increases the more party members there are up to 12% more boss damage which is great for party bossing. When you're fighting bosses like Magnus where you're spending a lot of time dead, get the resistance stackable Link skill. The skill makes you invincible for a short while when you die, up to 8 seconds if you have all of the resistance classes so you can chill a little bit before you go ham again. And finally, I want to mention that there are Link skills that give elemental and status resistance. These are the stackable Knight of Sickness Link skills and the Mihal Link skill. Getting more status resistance can mean life or death at higher level boss fights. Check those out if you're looking for more of this stat. Special shout out also to my boy Kaiser for having a Link skill that increases HP, which is practically only great for Demon Avenger and maybe Kana a little bit. And then there is Legion. Legion is amazing and the more characters you have, the better your Legion will be. At certain milestones, you can rank up your Legion to increase the grid size and this allows you to put even more characters on the board to get even more bonus stats. You can also get Legion coins with the system that can be used to get for example drop and meso coupons, flames and epic potential scrolls and even level up potions that can double as EXP buffs. Legion is not only powerful because of the stats the grid gives, but you get all these other benefits as well. You can increase your raid power to get coins faster by getting more levels on assigned characters and more star force on your assigned characters. Even though there are these benefits, I do recommend to focus on your link skills first as you'll level up your Legion rank as you work on those anyway. Each character has a Legion effect that will be applied when they are assigned to the grid, but these buffs aren't as big as the link skills. Legion ranks start at level 60, the next rank is level 100, then level 140, then level 200, and the final level is at level 250. 
Which character you want to focus on first for the Legion buff depends a lot on which class you're playing. Are you an Explorer Mage or a Dark Knight that needs a lot of buff duration? Mechanic will give you 20% buff duration at level 200. Need more cooldown reduction? Mercedes Hill Link Skill gives 5% cooldown reduction. Wanna get Critical Rate? Get Marksman and Night Lord. Get Shade and Hayato for critical damage. These are must-gets by the way, Shade and Hayato. Critical damage is OP. Are you grinding a lot in Reboot? Get the Phantom class to level 200 for that 4% mess of increase. Bossing a lot? Get Blaster and Beast Tamer for ignore defense and Kana and Demon Avenger for boss damage. Notice how you're already leveling up some of these classes for the link skills already anyway. For example, focus on Kana and Demon Avenger, then you get two damage link skills and boss damage legion effects as well. Two birds, one stone. If you're focusing on leveling, get the Zero class to level 200 for a 10% bonus EXP buff. This one is pretty good. And focus on the Corsair legion effect if you're a mechanic or any other class with a lot of summons like uh, Corsair itself. The Wild Hunter legion effect is also interesting. It gives a 20% chance to deal 16% additional damage. All other legion effects increase either a stat or HP and MP, which I recommend you only go for once you get all those special effects in. It can stack up to quite a bit though, I get about 700 additional strength from my legion grid for example. I left a link to the wiki that contains all legion effects if you're looking for those, and a link to the legion block solver if you're having trouble knowing where to place your blocks on the grid. By the way, for the grid stats themselves, go for your main stat and attack or magic attack depending on your class. It doesn't matter if you focus on your stat or attack first, both give about the same increase. Which part of the grid you want to focus on after you free up a bit more is up to you. I have two grids, one for bossing and one for mobbing that gives more EXP and focuses more on normal monster damage. And that was all I had for these systems for today. I hope this video was useful and that it helps you along the way. Thank you so much for watching and as always, special thanks to our members for making these videos possible. Special thanks to Niels de Konnik, Rama Waar, Sebastian Hanoi, Gesus Rodriguez, Claudie Mora, Wiley, Riser Aryu, Backspace OTI, Ziggy Deer, History Cannon, Safronix, Flidiot, Knifesu, Cloudfix, Suratito655, Michael Machaka, Raytheus, Afterlord, Betrayal1489, Silvio Nato, Striker Elk, Tidal One Pun, Victor Sundstrom, Matthias Simonson, Mr. Anark, Benon Games, The Passenger, Kani Wu, Max Bernhardt, Mukao 1017, BMB King, Scotty Flies Fast, Gabriel Eck, Feco, Vake Botnet, Dante Victory, Matinu Def, Snack HBG, Only, Lord Fazil, Pats D. Kaiser, That Archie Guy, Louis Bento Brandao, Snafflepop, Tails Curspet, The Wolf Drake, Gabriel Wolf, Pretty Bang, Best Guild Luna, Casual Valk, Quinn, Migu, and Mark Sette. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe and happy mapling.